Hi, I'm Ross Enemite from RossTraining.com. What I'm going to do in this brief video is show you a few simple, inexpensive ways that you can develop attributes such as your reactions, hand-eye coordination, peripheral vision, the ability to work with your non-dominant side. These are attributes that often don't receive a whole lot of direct attention. It's more common to see athletes or coaches focus on getting stronger or better condition, which are obviously important, but at the same time, I don't know too many athletes who would turn away the opportunity to become more coordinated or to perhaps improve their ability to react, to work with their non-dominant side. These are important qualities for athletes involved in just about every sport. So with that said, let me move on now to discuss and demonstrate some of these very simple drills. Okay, first one I'm going to do is show you a few simple throw and catch drills. Now you can use for these type of drills either a tennis ball or a racquetball. Tennis ball is going to be easier, easier for a few reasons. One, as you can see, it's larger than the racquetball. It's also a much brighter color, so as you throw and catch it, it's a lot easier for your eyes to pick up and track a ball like this. Racquetball is also harder, so it's going to rebound faster, so it's going to come back at you faster, which forces you obviously to react much more quickly. So racquetball is going to be more difficult, so if something like this is new to you, you're obviously going to want to start with a tennis ball. Now the first drill I'm going to do is show you is it's going to have a throw and catch. Now what, what I'm going to do though is throw the ball with my right hand, catch it with my left, throw it with my left, catch it with my right, and work back in that fashion. Okay, now obviously as a right-handed athlete, it's going to be much easier for me to throw the ball right-handed as opposed to throwing it with my left. So when you work with a simple drill like this, what it's doing is giving your non-dominant side some practice, forcing it to become more coordinated to keep up with the drill. Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you a variation where you can work with two tennis balls at once, or two racquetballs. Obviously, the tennis balls can be a little bit easier than the faster moving racquetballs. Now, when we're throwing two balls, what we have to do then is let them go and then force to react and catch them with each side. So the left and right arm are both working to catch a ball that's coming back towards you. When you throw them, you do it one of three ways. I can take the two tennis balls with my right arm, throw them, They'll bounce off my rebound surface and left and right side is forced to catch them as they come back. I can also throw them with my non-dominant side, my left arm, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to throw them. Release with my left side, right and left side then have to deal with the balls rebounding back, catch them in the air. Another option is to have each arm work independently with its own throw. So left and right side, throw the balls together at the same time, they then come back, left and right side catches its own ball. As I said before, you can also make the drill more difficult, obviously, by doing it with a, racket, well, a pair of racquetballs. They're going to come back a little bit faster, force you to react more quickly, make your eyes work harder too, as it is a smaller, darker ball that's going to be coming in your direction. Okay, next what I'm going to do is show you how you can take two different balls performing separate athletic motions with each of those balls. So my left side is going to be doing one thing, my right side is going to be doing something entirely different. So it's going to be a lot going on inside your head, inside your brain, 
as your body performs one action with the right side and a totally different action with the left side. With the example here with a tennis ball and a basketball, I can dribble the basketball with one side while my other side has a game of catch with itself, okay? I can throw the ball against a rebounding surface and catch it as I dribble the basketball with the other side. Now this is something that you could obviously work with, with both sides where you throw with the right, dribble with the left, or throw with the left and dribble with the right. Another thing you can do is add a little bit of motion to the drill with your lower body. So now a whole lot's going on. I'm throwing the ball, I'm dribbling. You can also start to bounce and hop with the feet as if you were almost as if you were dribbling or running in place with the basketball. But you're also playing a game of catch with the other side. So as you can see, a very simple drill like this. You've got a basketball and a tennis ball, that's it. And it really turns into quite the coordination challenge. Another activity that I feel is worth mentioning is that of juggling. You know, I'm by no means a juggling expert, but I am proficient with three balls. I can do a couple different three ball juggling styles. I can also juggle against a wall with three balls, which is instead of throwing the ball straight up, you would be juggling out against the wall, catching them as they come back towards you and continuing. Between that and a basic three ball juggle, these are useful activities that are within the reach of just about all athletes. It's not going to take you a whole lot of time or practice to teach yourself how to juggle, but there are plenty of attributes and benefits that come along with teaching yourself and learning how to juggle. Now, if you're brand new to juggling, never something that you've never done before, it's not going to be too difficult to find several tutorials on the web that can teach you an endless list of juggling styles. You go to my website at rostrain.com and click on the articles section. There is a juggling article on there that I wrote several years ago, and within that article, I have a link to a site that has tutorials on just about every possible juggling style you could ever think of. Some of them are extremely advanced. They're not going to be something that most people have the time to invest in to learn. But if it's something that you want to gradually work towards, by, by all means do so. Again though, just teaching yourself how to juggle three balls in a basic pattern is going to be something that's going to be pretty useful for you. Again, there's a lot going on in terms of the hand-eye coordination, reacting to the balls, the peripheral vision that's taking place as you see and track the balls throughout the air. So it is a valuable activity that I suggest all athletes take the time to learn how to do. Now to conclude this brief tutorial, I want to point out that these are simple drills that aren't intended to take over your training plan. I'm not expecting you to revamp your program to include these drills. These are simple, fun activities that you can add 5 or 10 minutes, maybe as part of a warm-up or as a separate play session that you perform at the end of a sporting practice. Okay? 5 or 10 minutes here and there, it's going to add up over time. These aren't something that you're going to want to invest all day into practicing and learning. Take five or ten minutes. Try to maybe get a couple sessions like this in per week. And over time, you're going to start to notice the improvements. It's not going to take a whole lot of time to notice improvements simply because this, these are activities that most people never spend any time doing. So when you work with something that's brand new to you, it usually doesn't take a whole lot of time to reap some benefits from the work. And as with these drills that I demonstrated, you can always take the drill and make it more difficult. No matter what it is, there's a way that you can make it more difficult. Whether it's throwing the ball harder, okay, looking away. For example, with a basic catch drill. Instead of looking straight at the ball as I'm catching it, just by turning my body slightly to the side, and I, I'm going to be forced to work with peripheral vision as the ball comes back. So just a simple modification like that can take a very simple drill and make it increasingly difficult. So I encourage you to Consider working with some of these simple drills. I'm sure you'll think of others on your own. Have fun with it. Don't allow yourself to get frustrated. 
and expect to notice the improvements as you continue to work with them.